Hi, Guy Lawton, the Law Guy here. Today I want to talk to you about Let's Play videos. This here is Felix Shelberg, or more commonly known as PewDiePie. He has the most user subscriptions on YouTube, with just over 36 million. And what exactly does PewDiePie do? Well, he's famous for recording himself playing video games and uploading it onto YouTube. Or in other words, producing Let's Play videos. Let's Play videos is the recording of computer content where the player adds value through commentary, sometimes accompanied with an image of the player. But do these Let's Play videos infringe copyright under Australian law? It's a difficult question to answer because it could depend on how the producers are using that content in their videos. Copyright subsists in a video game, both as a part three work and a part four subject matter other than work. There are a few ways in which a Let's Play video could infringe on a copyright owner's exclusive rights. But the most obvious and blatant one is that they're communicating the work to the public, which is an exclusive right of the copyright owner for both part three works and part four copyrights other than work. Communicate means to make available online or to transmit electronically copyright material. Section 14.1 of the Copyright Act says that an infringing act doesn't need to be done with regards to the whole of the work. It is sufficient that the act be done in relation to a substantial part of the work. When assessing whether somebody has infringed copyright, it is always a matter of fact and degree. This is assessed against the video game developer's work as a whole, determined by both the quality and quantity of the work, with quality being the most important factor. So the courts would look at the video game and assess how much of the Let's Play video is taken from that work and whether it's a, a substantial part, whether it's an important part. And seeing as how Let's Play videos have sound recordings, textures, specific images directly taken from the games, essentially just straight up communicating the whole game at times, um, or portions of the game, you, you could easily argue that yes, they are in fact infringing, that they are taking a substantial part. However, there are fair dealing provisions in the Copyright Act which curtail the exclusive rights of copyright owners. They permit the use of copyright material without the need to get authorization from the copyright owner when it's used for four specific purposes. You can use the material for the purpose of research and study, criticism and review, parody and satire, or for reporting the news. I think it's highly likely that Let's Play videos that emphasize bugs and and glitches would fall under the fair dealing provision, especially for cr criticism and review. As the Act doesn't have a definition for criticism and review, the Federal Court of Australia has used the Macquarie Dictionary definition, which says that criticism is the act of analysing or judging, or passing judgments as to the merits of something. A review is the output of that criticism, the expression of that critique. Justice Healy has said that the test to determine whether somebody is actually doing criticism review is Is the infringing material a genuine piece of criticism or review or is it something else? Such as an attempt to dress up the infringement or another's copyright in the guise of criticism and so profit unfairly from another's work. So with most Let's Play videos being for entertainment, whether they're cutscenes or recordings of the whole game, it is most likely that they won't fall under criticism review because they're, they're more of a guise to profit from somebody else's intellectual property. They don't pass judgment. Unless the video focuses on bugs or negative aspects or tailors their video on reviewing and criticizing the game itself, um, then it might fall under criticism review. Take for example Activision's attempt to take down videos that highlighted Call of Duty's glitches. Ultimately though, it would be based on what the video's purpose is. Is it for criticism review or entertainment? With most Let's Play videos being for entertainment and they would be breaching the exclusive rights of communicating to the public that copyright owners have. 